Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing my updated self tanning routine with you. It has been a minute since I've done this video because I personally don't self tan all that often. I feel like a lot of people on YouTube are doing it like every week and I know people that do it every week, but I'm kind of like a once a month kind of gal and then I do it more frequently during the summer. But I've just been feeling so just lately and whenever I self tan it just makes me feel really good. So I have tried so many different brands and I knew the next time that I wanted to show you guys what I was using was something that I really, really loved. One of the products that I was using for the longest time actually ended up giving me a rash. So I like was on the hunt for a good self tanner. So I came across Bondi Sands last summer actually, and I ended up falling in love with their self tanning foam. And that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. And I'm so excited that they are partnering with me on this video to show you this routine. So thank you so much Bondi Sands for sponsoring this. Uh, the tanning mousse that I use is the Bondi Sands self tanning foam. I have the shade dark. I also have the ultra dark one as well. That's the one that I was using during the summer when I wanted to look like extra, extra bronzed. But right now, like I'm not trying to go like that dark right now because it's gonna be obvious. I like to look a little bit more natural. Like I just look like I am this color. Overall, it just gives me a nice natural looking bronzed color all over my body. So the first thing I do is pull my hair up out of my face. I have blonde hair and if I get any tanning mousse in my hair, it will end up turning it colors. Then I just grab any lotion or I use coconut oil, honestly, and I just rub that in between my hands and apply it to any of the dry areas. So for me, that's my my armpits, my elbows, wrists, knees, ankles, any area that's like really dry is where I'll like add a little bit of coconut oil. Then I just grab the dark foam and the application mitt, which I really like this mitt because it's not like a foam texture. It's, I don't even know what it is, but it's so soft. And for me, I've noticed it applies really, really smoothly. So I'll apply a couple pumps into the mitt and then I'll evenly distribute it all over my body. I always work from my feet upwards. I don't know why. I just, that's the way I do it. And I just kind of do like either circular motions or long sweeping motions. And it really doesn't matter how you apply it in my opinion, because with this self tanner, I just have never ever had it look bad. It always ends up looking really natural. So you don't have to worry too much about the feet and ankle area. Usually that's something that I would focus on or pay a lot of attention to when applying it. But I honestly, like even filming this is really tricky. <laughs> it's, it's weird filming your body, but even then like it still looks super natural, even like applying it haphazardly like I did here. But you get the gist of it, just long sweeping motions or circular motions. This just smells like a nice coconut fragrance. So my sheets don't reek. I don't reek. My clothes don't reek. I'm also showing you here how I do my arms as well. Same thing. I just put it all over the place. Again, just those nice long sweeping motions or circular motions. When I do my hands, I like to kind of put my hand in like a little claw motion, you know, like, like so, and just kind of like rub it in and get it all nice on the hands. Like don't skip the hands or anything. You don't have to worry about it settling into your knuckles or anything. It's not going to look crazy, I promise. And then here I'm showing you how I do my armpits, chest, and neck area. And I do actually apply this to my face as well. I've never broken out from this. I've never gotten a skin irritation or anything. Thank the Lord, because the tanner I was using before used to give me weird, this weird rash thing. So personally safe for my face. Um, and so I just apply a little bit there. I just apply the like mustache area last. So then what I like to do is just wear loose fitting clothing. This time I left it on for six hours and then I washed it off in the shower. You can leave it on for longer though if you want. Sometimes I'll just like leave it on overnight. That's my personal favorite way to do it just because then I just, it, it develops overnight. Um, and the first color that you see actually when you put it on is a color guard. Um, I feel like that's very common with, uh, like self tanning mousses is that when you first put it on that color is not the color that you are going to be that way with the color guard you can actually see where you're applying it there are some self tanners out there that don't have that and for me that's just a little bit trickier as again because I don't know what the heck I'm doing and then when you rinse it off you're left with the tan that's left on and that is how I apply it all it's very quick very easy it's it doesn't require a lot of technique I feel like 
Um, anytime I've tried stuff in the past, I've had to be very specific about certain things and this just kind of like takes the work out of it for me. I love that it looks that I went and got a spray tan, but I didn't have to go and get one. I just got it here at home. I didn't have to get naked in front of anybody. Um, I did it myself. Well, actually that's not true. I had to get a little naked in front of Amanda for filming this. But yeah, so this is the tan the next day. This is what it looks like as you can see. I don't have any like weird wrist things going on. It just looks really, really natural. It just it looks good so what I will do now is use the everyday gradual tanning milk um, this was actually a tip from the people at Bondi Sands they told me I could use this to prolong my tan I never would have thought to do that I would have thought that that would just be like an extra like for a different need you know but yeah you can just use that on top and it will prolong it and keep it lasting longer and then if you are kind of like at the final end stages of your tan like on one of the last days and you want to just get it off so you can reapply a new layer um, or like a fresh coat um, they actually have the self tan eraser so this is like a gentle foaming cleanser that you can use and it just washes off your tan so you don't have to like scrub your skin raw it's still good to exfoliate your skin um, in general and if you're going to apply a fresh self tan layer anyways so you could do that too but this will make it so that you're not literally like rubbing at your skin trying to get the self tan off so you can reapply but that is it if you're interested in picking up some Bondi Sands products for yourself you can actually get it at your local Walgreens in stores and online which is so exciting because this is hands down my favorite self tanner that I've ever tried and it's at an affordable price which is awesome sauce. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing something a little bit different here on my channel. I am just kind of like, I've got this itch to just do more things. I'm, I'm excited about it. So anyways, thank you so much Bondi Sands for partnering and sponsoring this video. I had so much fun making it and I had so much fun filming in my new bathroom. I can't wait to film more stuff in my new house. You guys, it is going to be the best. I'm so excited. So anyways, let me know any of your other video requests or anything different kind of like this. Let me know that down below and I will see you very soon. Bye.